Hey everybody, it's Kitty Hawk. A month ago, I put out a video of my PCT gear. I was going ultra light, 9.4 pound base weight. Well, that was then, this is now. Everything has changed. Jumping right in. I was going to hike with the Z-Pax Nero backpack. 11 ounces. It was great. <laughs> it's only great to a point. Anticipated pack weight initially of 17 pounds. It was pretty comfortable. When I get to the Sierras and I have to carry a bear canister, two and a half pounds, and probably four or five days of food, instead of one or two that I'm going to be carrying in the desert, now I'm looking at 25 pounds and it wasn't very comfortable uh, without a hip belt, all the weights on my shoulders, know thyself. When I was in my 20s, I was in a car accident and fractured my shoulder blade. Normally not an issue, but every once in a while, too much strain for too long. And I can get in a situation where I have severe pain and loss of use of my arm. Uh, very rare, but I can't afford to have that possibility on trail. So... Switch back to the z packs Arc Air framed hip belt. Now this is 21 ounces with the additions on it, but transfers all the way to my hips. Virtually no strain on my shoulders. Also a little bit more room when I get that bear canister and extra stuff. 10 extra ounces. Say la vie. Okay. We're talking about summertime, hot, desert, hot. I was taking my Enlightened Equipment Revelation 50 degree quilt. Doing more research, I watched videos of people that started their through hikes in May, mid-May, and they were wearing puffies and one of them, the uh, Backyard Bandits, they specifically said in the beginning of one of their videos how cold it was the night before and how chilly it was starting off that morning. And then I looked up average temperatures in the summer, June, July, August, of the different towns that I would be going through along the way. And average temperatures were in the 40s and 50s at night. And I sleep cold. 50 degree quilt is not going to do it. So, switch to the z Packs 20 degree quilt. That's an extra 7 ounces. Alright, I was hoping that I would get the Dan Durston X-Mid Pro 2, but Dan said that it's not going to arrive in time. He can mail it to me on the trail. But then I'd have to mail my z Pax Triplex home. Is it worth the expense? I don't know. We'll see. But for right now, I've got the z Pax Triplex. Uh, the only change is here. I've done uh, some hacks. I put a video out a few weeks ago on the hacks for a duplex tent. Makes it just a little bit more efficient. I'm going with longer stakes for the sand and heavy winds out there. And also uh, a couple of uh, the tips of our ends of uh, some carbon fiber trekking poles that I had just to use for my side stakeouts. Give me more headroom, a little bit more security in the wind. And uh, between the stakes and these poles, so that's an extra about five ounces. Decided to add my puffy. It, again, I sleep cold. Um, yeah, I'm skinny. And I don't have any fat on my bones. So, uh, this is a Outdoor Vitals down quilt. I'm down puffy. Uh, weighs about nine ounces. Also, forgot to mention in my last video, uh, I do have a ground sheet for underneath my tent, just a little more protection for it. This is a Poly 3 mil, maybe that I bought at Lowe's for like $3 and uh, lasted the entire AT trip. Still solid, no punctures. There you go, but that is uh, another five or so ounces. Another major change that I've made, 
I have so many rechargeables now that I'm worried that I'll spend all day recharging stuff. If I'm staying in a hotel or a hostel, no big deal, I can do it overnight. But if I just get into town and want to do a quick hero, you know, a, a hero where you just get in, shower, laundry, resupply, eat, get out. Uh, not a Nero, not a zero, a hero. Well, I'm going to need to be able to charge quickly. I found this. One outlet, four plugs. Well, there's lots of these multi things, but what they don't tell you is that, yes, the first one fast charges, but the subsequent ones all share off of that. So when you start plugging multiple things in, all of a sudden your fast charge is now a bunch of slow charges. Uh, this is 100 watts, and even splitting it up, you're still going to get fast charges out of every slot. So I can charge my phone, my backup battery bank, my GoPro, my headlamp, and remember I'm carrying a handheld fan, uh, so I got five items. I can charge them up in two and a half hours. Old man and the PCT said that when he got to uh, one of the fire stations to recharge his stuff, it took him six hours. I can't sit around for six hours. So weight penalty though, this thing weighs about 10 ounces. So uh, efficiency or weight. I'm going to take a little massage ball, two ounces. I picked this up at Harper's Ferry last year and really helped uh, to rub out the feet and the legs too sometimes. Voltaren, because I'm an old guy and I get arthritis pain in the knees, the shoulder that I mentioned. Uh, this stuff works great, uh, but there's another 1.75 ounces. All right, this is a card reader for my GoPro transfer data to my phone. I've never used one. I don't even know how to use this thing. But Kelly Hayes, Kelly Hayes Hikes, she's got one. And if she thinks it's necessary, well, then it probably is. But I bought it, and I'm carrying it, and so I guess I'll be learning as I go. Garmin Enreach Mini. I didn't think I needed one of these. Sure didn't need it in the AT. Is it worth almost $400 plus $35 subscription fee plus uh, an extra $29 of what if insurance plus an extra $15 a month for the most basic plan? Uh, no, I don't need that. But, you know, it's the kind of thing that all of a sudden something happens and you say, God, what an idiot. Why didn't I spend the money and carry this with me? I still wouldn't have gotten this, but I do have a wife, and my wife said, yes, get it. So, Garmin in Reach Mini, three and a half ounces. Woohoo! All right, uh, that basically takes care of all the changes. So, I went from 9.4 pound base weight to, right now I'm at about 12 pound base weight. No longer ultra light, still very light, but not where I was. So 12 pound base weight, two liters of water most of the time, uh, one or two days of food gets me to about maybe 19, 20 pounds. Um, still pretty good. And then when I get to the Sierras and I have that bear canister and more food and who knows, maybe even an extra clothing item, uh, I'll be in the 25, 26 pounds. I'll do all right. Uh, I do want to give a quick honorable mention to something. It was in the last video, but uh, the Nalgene Canteen. Somebody get the phone. Nalgene Canteen as a pee bottle. And Kelly Hayes uses one of these. And I also found out that my dear friend Paparazzi, she also used one of these. So, guys, two out of three female hikers recommend this. So I'm going with it. Honorable mention. Um, did mention I have a large Z-Packs multi-pack as my fanny pack. 
uh, carry all my snacks in here. Also sunscreen and chapstick and bug net and all kinds of stuff. Probably weighs about a pound and a half. That's not included in my pack weight. Um, it's not in my pack, so I didn't count it. But as far as total body weight, wear weight, yeah, this is a factor. Uh, like I say, probably a pound and a half. I still plan to get out there and hike quick and get in some distance each day so that I only will have to go. I'll hit a town or minor resupply spot every day or every other day for the first 700 miles. After that, eh, that's another story. But uh, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. The knees hold up. If not, but uh, there you have it. Uh, PCT 2022 hike. I start on May 24th. So see you out there.